I got my first rejection in my entire career, and I'm ready to show it to you. This just wouldn't be an honest series if I didn't also share some of the rejections that I'm going to experience along the way. This one's hard to call a rejection because I had a really great experience, and the person who got the role, CJ Reynolds, is legitimately the best person I could possibly think of for the role. Honestly, CJ is so good that if I knew that they were interviewing for the same role, I probably wouldn't have even bothered applying. Of course, the role that I'm talking about is the video creator role for Syntax at Sentry. I actually applied for this role in the later portion of last year, and I thought, what the heck, I'll just show you the video that I made for it. Not only did I make a video, you can see the whole process that I went through in terms of making this pitch and going through the exercises. I admittedly did a lot of work on it, work that I'm actually really proud of. Now, before I roll the video, I just wanna share with you the one thing that I really took away from the interview process. If you look at this notes page, I took a lot of notes on the exercise example of intersection observer. But I didn't do a really good job of actually rolling that into my submission. This is very much how I've worked in the past and it's a function of my fear that I might not get some of the details right. But living too much in that fear, I didn't represent myself in the medium that mattered, the video. This lesson has actually come into play in this series. I'm trying really hard to spend a lot less time writing notes and thinking about the video that I will make and just making the video. So a big thanks to Syntax and Sentry for helping me learn that very practical lesson in a real and personal way. If you haven't seen what they're doing on the channel since CJ joined the team, you really need to check it out. So without further ado, here is my video application for the video creator role at Syntax. Hey there, Syntax friends. Uh, I just wanted to thank you for reaching out to me about this role and me being a possible fit for it. Um, one, I'm very excited to have been uh, considered and to be considered, uh, but two, I'm just really excited about the brand where you guys have been taking uh, Syntax for the last year. Since this is a video specific role, I thought I'd include a video, but I didn't wanna just repeat everything that I could just easily link to. So I figured I would uh, give you two reasons why I think I might be a great fit, two reasons why I might not be a very good fit and two things that I'm looking for in my next opportunity. So first with the things that I think would make me a good fit, uh, I think I'm at the exact Venn diagram of things that you are looking for. Uh, I have always loved programming and um, part of the joy of programming for me is helping kind of like flip that switch for other people. Uh, I got an email just yesterday uh, from someone saying that uh, the React holiday from a couple years back is when they started learning React and uh, it just changed the course of their family. That just made the world to me. Those are the types of things that I absolutely live for. So that's what drives me on the technical education side. But then on the other side of that Venn diagram, I've just always been a huge AV nerd. Before I got my business degree, I spent years just living in a studio, getting uh, certificates and recording arts, digital filmmaking, and online multimedia production in macromedia director or something. I don't remember. The point is, two different worlds. I'm right there in the middle. I think I'd be a good fit. Now, as you may know, I'm just very upfront and open about the things that I am not good at. And so I wanna list those things as well. First on that list of two is that I am an OCD sufferer. Uh, there are a couple ways that that plays into work. Formatting is kind of a make or break thing for me. For example, this last week, I've been doing uh, React Holiday, this React Advent that I do every year. And I have been recording, editing, writing, and publishing all of those in like, you know, two hours because the formatting is very sloppy. It kind of like comes out as it comes out. If I make mistakes, those go in as well. However, there were two projects that I did this year that really ended up not being a good fit. And it was because they had very exacting standards, making sure that every word was correct and that they were kind of visually all very tight, had a lot of collaborators, and I was at the center of coordinating it all. And for me to avoid embarrassment and shame, I get so lost in the details that I just lose all track of time. Now, this isn't bad, but in very exacting projects, um, it's very important that I have someone to partner with that can like kind of manage some of the details. And then if the framework is a little bit more relaxed, then I'm 
totally comfortable doing every part of it. Number two on the possibly not so good traits, I have absolutely zero original design skills. Uh, I am very good at implementing something that exists and I have a lot of taste. So if I'm working with a designer, I can direct them to get the feel and look and everything that we want. However, coming up with original design ideas, I don't have a visual imagination like that. So that's the possibly bad stuff. Let's talk about the things that I'm interested in for my next opportunity. Right now, we're a family of four plus a dog, and those two kids are tweens. So it's very important for me to kind of suck up every last moment of these kind of like teenage years before they really kind of take off into independence. So the things that interest me from an employment standpoint are base salary, comprehensive insurance, and truly flexible time off. And the second thing is that I learn through doing. I learned through making podcasts, making videos of my own, making courses of my own, and even products at times. I hope that this role would see that as an asset and not an area of competition or misaligned interests, but I just wanted to put it out there. It's important. Okay, so that's it. Reasons I'd be a good fit, reasons I might not be a good fit, and things that I am looking for personally. Uh, again, I'm really thankful that you're taking the time to consider me. It's a it's a real honor to be considered. Uh, anything that's linkable, I will have at chan.dev slash syntax. That's chan.dev slash syntax. And uh, yeah, I'm just really excited to see what you do. Whether you go with me or somebody else, I'm sure it's going to be awesome. So yeah, I'll see you, see you around. Bye. <laughs>